Welcome back to yet another video and this time around we're back with a bang so I'm so excited so I'm currently shooting something with a couple of people um, basically I'm just doing a mini interview series remember I did a video about like different roles in software engineering and also around the whole thing shebang so that's going to be coming up I'm still shooting it you know it's not a I want to release it just yet I just want to do all the interviews because I don't want the people to be you know copying each other's answers <laughs> yeah basically but anyway thank you so much for uh, subscribing and 1000 Okay, who knows and yes, thank you so much to everybody. Please do not forget to like comment and subscribe so that Apparently the algorithm ET the more you like um, the video is going to be suggested to more people So people who are like you who would also like to hear what I have to say Okay, so in today's video, I'll just get straight into it. So I'm going to be basically sharing a story you know about my very first job as a professional software engineer not that i was like before like not professional but you get the gist in the professional world right working for a company which like was an internship throughout so this three years you're an intern yeah you're an intern for three years um <laughs> yeah yeah so what then happens is that what then happened what then happened was that the first three months I went through training. So my first day there was quite good. I, I don't know. So I mean, one of the questions that I probably want to like answer that I've asked myself uh, was um, how it was on my first day. So on my first day, so remember that before getting this job, I had already gone through thousands and thousands of interviews. And I was not too excited to start the new job. I couldn't believe it because I mean, I mean, coming from like 100,000 rejections and now finally you got a job, you know. And then I went to, I remember my first day, so we were told that we don't have to wear like formal clothing, but just like smart casual. That for me was like amazing, A.com. Because, I mean, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, I was very much excited. Let me just put it that way. I was excited to be wearing like smart casual. And then I got there and then I met some of my fellow, um, what you call, interns. And it was like, hey, you know, trying to make, fr trying, try to make friendships and stuff. And out of a class of 10, 11, you know, interns, there were like only three females. We were like cool people and you know the shebang and we went through training and then we later on then after the three months you sort of like graduate so you build a system with that within that three months you build a system a working system then you present it to um i don't know whether it's esco i tend to be corrected but to the directors and stuff and then you get allocated so three months later and then got allocated to a team and then later so in the team it was really really cool we're doing like to me like cool stuff i think we're doing cool stuff because we didn't really like have like actual work to do so we're then uh, later delegated to like different teams because of whatever decisions had been taken so i was taken to another team and oh my goodness my first impression of that team was just like i was just i'm like till today i'm so grateful to the people i have met you know and i had a really really like great team like till this day i remember when i sort of like had to not sort of because i didn't <laughs> so when i had to like change jobs i was just like oh my goodness can i take those people with me because they're so awesome so um even though the team had grown like ever since but when i initially joined the team it was a team of really really awesome people really cool people um very 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 um they're always willing to help you know and i think one of the biggest things that you know when you start out you just think to yourself you don't know anything and you're just scared of like messing things up and all of that stuff but what i'm what i can tell they you know i don't know because I've only, I've only worked in, as a software developer and I've only like been where I am. I've never worked elsewhere, but like what I can tell you is that this field has a lot of like really cool people always willing to help and all of that stuff. 
um, in my experience I've never met like even in my second job I've never been at a point where I felt like I was alone I felt like I was struggling and no one was there to help me there's always been like a great support system from my fellow colleagues of developers and stuff so um, that's one thing that I can guarantee you and I don't think there's any developer who could say otherwise that they have not been supported they've not been helped when they needed help so that's one thing like rest assured now i sound like a particular insurance company rest assured all the benefits are covered i don't know whatever but i, I one 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 thing i like about the 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 um culture or whatever space is that it has really really awesome people and i'm grateful for that and i wish the same for all of you that when you start out you get really cool people that are always willing to help and you know and teach you and also have a learning a, a learning spirit always be looking forward to learn new things and like, you know humble yourself and know everything and it's okay and not try to sound smart because I think that's one other thing that I sort of like had you know so for instance if someone is explaining something then I would want to also fit in to show that I also understand it's, it's okay just sit and listen learn as much as you can if there's something you know keep it to yourself I mean you don't have to now like it. yeah and you don't yeah maybe it's it's not a better but, but that for me but for me that's what I learned to like sit back and sort of like allow the other person to help you instantly you know i think one other thing i had a bit of anxiety you know getting help because it felt like oh my goodness i'm taking your time so i'll just also add and also i just wanted to look like not even look like but also seem to you know be involved in the whole process and not just let the person be doing you know every day explaining and also to show that i could understand but you don't want to have to you can just like take take notes and and go deal with your issues so when i moved to the team so in the team that i was in so there were like different types of teams like maintenance project and production support developer so i was then taken to that one to the production developer so there you work in production pretty much so you make like instant changes so it's unlike the maintenance where it still needs to go through all the processes and whatnot some things are really that that urgent that they can't like go through all the other processes so be just like you know very risky behavior but i mean we like it here <laughs> we like it so risky we don't want it kidding so uh basically that's the kind of work that i did when i first started out and yeah to be quite honest it was nothing i had imagined in my head i thought like joining the teams i'll be doing like exciting projects and stuff i mean like coming from university already you're so excited about building like beautiful what but interesting um softwares and stuff but when you get there it's already a system that has already been built so it's either you're adding so in, so in the beginning so so in the beginning i wasn't even building okay i think i was i kind of was functionalities and stuff but it's not what i had expected i thought i was going to start a project from scratch finish it and whatnot whatnot but that was not the case that for me was like okay this is not what i signed up for but anyway because already you know i was still you know a little girl and i was just like you know what i'll just stick around and you know learn as much as possible and all, all of that and i mean as time went so i did grow into like other spaces not really like amazing amazing but yeah like maintenance and you know all of those things and which was like quite cool sometimes but sometimes you know just get bored man you just get bored you just you know yeah but um also another thing that for me that felt um like a bit like the system is so huge that you don't get to do the same things like you, you know the whole year you like discover things i mean every single time you're like oh i didn't know this was like this but also at the same time i also wanted to find myself in a space where i was building something from scratch that was built by me or have been part of so now it's one of those things you have to debug you have to you know do maintenance stuff which was very very nice i really enjoyed it but there was a point where I, it sort of felt repetitive right um 
yeah i i, I just wanted to 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 do projects and you know it, it was not an option <laughs> so yeah that for me was like uh... anyway so basically pretty much um it was good and all that stuff and yo man i don't know and then at some point i wanted to branch out and do like into another like department so you know like there's internal applications like it can apply and then i was denied that they're like no you can't go we need more people this side and stuff and also like my thing as well is like these companies for as much as you know um <sighs> how do i put it for as much as yes they like they want us to grow and stuff yes you do grow but like at their own pace right you grow at the company's pace so if the company needs you to do like this thing we need you here we hear that you want to go to you know like that direction but you we still want you to be here and that's exactly what's going to happen so you grow at their own terms if that sort of makes sense i mean that's my experience that's me that's me uh, yeah um, uh, this doesn't apply to everybody but that's just how I sort of felt, you know, when you want to go there, they're like, no, you know, and also it's like, it doesn't leave room for negotiation. It's just like, oh, okay. And that's on period, you know? Um, so yeah, I did my three year internship. Yo. <laughs> um, yeah, it, you know, sometimes it's like, it didn't make sense. Like, why am I doing like a job? If we're still doing the same job as like a senior what what you know but anyway so yeah that was my job like i i was a fixer i was the fixer i was bob the builder you know and whatnot so sure so in terms of of, of, make, of making mistakes right so um in your early days it's bound to happen Okay, as as a as a almost said as an amateur, no, as a beginner, as somebody who's like doing their very first job and whatnot, mistakes are meant to happen. You know, you are really not immune to those. If they don't happen, then like good for you, thumbs up. But I mean, you know, you don't beat yourself up about it. Like I've made so many mistakes. You know, there were times where I thought, ooh, like you know, sometimes like big mistakes are relative like to someone else a big mistake is maybe your big mistake is not the company's biggest mistake you know so i have also sometimes found myself in positions where i was like oh here i'm getting fired i remember this one time i had done a very big mistake like like whatever mistake you make costs money right so i remember i did something i ran something with the incorrect data and whatnot and now i was so scared and then like some meeting was scheduled as like damage control or whatever sort of stuff like how can we move forward how can we fix this so that it doesn't occur again and all that type of stuff so yeah so i was told the day before that tomorrow we're having a meeting in the morning and that was on linkedin looking for a new job because i was like okay this is it now oh my god you know you know uh, it's it's also um it's also like a learning curve and i think also your employers understand that you know you're still new to this thing and they're not expecting you to be all 100 percent so you, it's okay to make mistakes man and also they understand you know and yeah <laughs> but i'm not saying delete the data the production database i'm not saying do that uh but like a mistake is not on purpose it's not deliberate so yeah don't do don't like be deliberate in your mistakes I and mean, then yeah that, that, that's not long a mistake but you get what I'm saying so yeah and that's just in terms of um also I had to interact with like clients a lot um so that in the beginning was a challenge for me because now you get to a point where um your job is dependent on someone else to give you feedback or to 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 respond or that or that that sort of thing so i also learned how to sort of you know go after a person until they give you what they want because I, otherwise your job is not going to get done and also there's things that are called slas which are like your turnaround time so into completing a particular task so 
if your SLA is like two hours, right? And you're doing this task for this person and they are not hitting, they're not replying to you as soon as possible. You need to follow up until if it means you must escalate. Also, it was a thing that I never knew about. And also it, it taught me in life in general that if you want something, you have to go for it. If it means that you must knock on that door every single morning until the door opens, or if it means that you must keep on pushing and pushing until it opens. I mean, that's one of the things that I had learned. And I honestly, it was not a skill that I had because I mean, where did I have to nang a someone? Not even nanga, but you know, there was no instance where I had to do that. But when I started working and dealing with clients and you know, learning how to like sort of, you know, communicating and you know, be as respectful as possible, uh, be as patient as possible because at the end of the day you are the one who wants the money but besides that man it's it's a 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 it's good human you know skills to have respect and patience for other people and understanding and all of that stuff so it gave me all of that i never used to be a very patient person you know i used to be i remember when i started working um so yeah so in some of those um like call logs that were or so whatnot so my response sometimes were not you know as as nice as they should have been so from there i learned okay it's fine for as much as you feel like these are like things that could be fixed by the user or whatnot but sometimes you know like in your way of responding in your way of communication like you need to you know be patient and sound like you're always willing to assist at the end of the day you know we always need to um to live in a world where we're creating space for something to go wrong like we know sometimes like it can't go wrong but it will go wrong and you know need to have a way to dealing with it and understand that something will always go wrong for as much as you felt like that thing is so simple but someone can make a mistake and it's okay and you know it's your job i mean one one other thing that i learned from one of the guys who's always told me that it's your job you know i'd be like but why they're like yeah but it's your job to like either or whether it's broken whether it's whatnot but it's your job whether you felt that it was unnecessary and whatever but it's your job you know it's one thing that you need to also understand that it is your job whether someone broke it on purpose or not on purpose it still is your job to fix it because that's why you hired in the first place so um all in all i had learned to really like um beautiful life lessons also working with such amazing colleagues of developers um not even like i don't think there's even a day that went by where i felt like um i wasn't helped or i was left alone to drown in the waters you know there was always someone willing to help even if they stayed with you until late you know it was just it's one of those moments you know that for me i felt like oh my goodness this is such a great community of people and i'm grateful to have been part of such you know um to be in the industry basically because even you know in my current job you know it's the same thing so yeah even though you know sometimes you know i i was once so when i started out um I think it was sort of like an opportunity for me to, to move and like one of my colleagues who was like a decision maker um, said something really mean and oh my god and then you get those and the one time so when I had my very first performance review I had a manager who then told me oh so it was like one of those questions where you get asked um, so what are your aspirations or what are your future like where would you where do you see yourself in the next couple of years like from a junior software engineer you'd like to see yourself as a technical technical solutions architect like those kind of questions like where do you see yourself like short term um and then he was like um choose anything but not my position so i was like child <laughs> uh, to be quite honest i was not even like I wasn't touched because I was like, mm, I probably don't want a position and um, 